Hey, this is Mark the Meerkat with Grok Trade with the trade of the day. That's right, the, from the Grok Day Trading Chat Room. And it was on Blink, B-L-N-K. Here it was right after opening, and it was dropping, dropping, dropping. And it was pulled back, and then it was doing a high base here, and we made some trades on it. And that was in a symmetrical triangle, a symmetrical triangle. And so if you want to know more about a symmetrical triangle, just go to free online tradingeducation.com, free online trading education.com I know it's a mouthful but right here to our free chart school just go to chart school right there and here are the different trading patterns that we trade and this was on a symmetrical triangle right here and here it was look at it where it's getting tighter and tighter like a like a spring ready to bust out there and uh, uh, so you can look at it there here's some examples from uh, real life charts here this is a daily chart here here's a, a another day trading chart with one minute candles like I'm using it you can see how it broke down there on that was on Alibaba so just some examples of that so uh, let's take a look here at blink and I'm um, so I'm setting the trade down here ready to go but I'm trading some other things at this point and what happens next here it does what it does break down but I, uh, but I did not get in, and I missed my trade there. So now it was low basing right here. So I set a trade down below here, and then, bam, it did fall down. And I'm now short at 8.28 on BLNK. So it was, it was low basing here for about two, three minutes, and then I did get in on a secondary entry. So it ended up being a low base entry on that. So I'm, I have a stop that's automatically attached here, one percent behind, at uh, 28 here. That would be at 34 and uh, here we go and let's see it falls down here and whoop it popped back up and just about stopped me out but not quite and now it's starting to fall again so now it's bound here this this uh, 520 this 825 area is acting as real support uh, let's see here if it oh, there it breaks down and now it's low basing down here just under that area so I my rules say that if it stalls at a line of support go ahead and take out half whether that's for a half a percent or for a twenty percent if it stalls I take out partial stalls not reverses there so I went in and I took out half here at 822 for 0 0.7 percent on the first half but I'm giving my second half a chance to run and so I'm bringing my stop down now here to break even on the second half and uh, let's see now I have a guaranteed income trade right and let's see what happened next year it started oh there it did finally break that area then bam broke right below that uh, the uh, 822 and look at the volume that came in nice okay so now it's start continuing to drop I'm bringing my stop down here now to this area of support and resistance and in the money stop now about a half a percent in the money where my stop is cool cool dropping and now drop below this 815 and it's starting to go down wow bam bam Bam! It boy, look at that. It pierced way below the eight uh, the uh, eight dollar mark. Pierced down here and then popped right back up. And then what happened after that? Here, let me go one. And then look what happened here. It immediately started to reverse. This is what we call capitulation. Capitulation is where you have a big, huge candle down, huge volume. Look at that huge volume, a hundred thousand more than had been in the last two hours in the market, and uh, it. And then now it's reversing on you. So that's a huge reversal candle, a situation called capitulation. It can happen to the upside or the downside. And so um, I, I had pulled my stop down here um, just above this, uh, um, this the 8 EMA at the time. 8 EMA was right down there. And then it pops up, and it and right there it stopped me out just as it pierced through there. In fact, let's see what happened after that. Yeah, right there. It, that's where it stopped me out as it shot up there at 808 on the second half I was at 2.4 percent ooh wow that like that part so let's take a look at this whole trade here it was a symmetrical triangle but I missed the primary entry and then it low based here briefly and I did get in on a secondary entry uh, when it stalled I took out half as I do as my rules call for right here and then uh, and then it proceeded to drop down after capitulation I tightened my stop and Pop me out right there. So this total trade was for 1.6% in 26 minutes. Hoo ah, love it when that happens. So it was a struggle today here. The Grok Day Trading Chat Room. Uh, here's what we here's was our day. Uh, we were um, uh, we had 11 trades. This number 10 trade was that Blink trade. 
that I just showed you. And uh, but if you notice here again, were we cutting our losers short and letting our winners run the key trading principle we practiced? Well, the first trade on blink it was for 1.7 uh, in the morning on a short. Uh, and then look at this, all of these are under 1%, either plus or minus, until we get down here to this other blink trade for 1.6. And then I finished off the day with a 1% trade on Zoom. So uh, really not a, you know, no big huge runners today. However, uh, we, we did have a great, uh, if you take a look here at our statistics, we were 8 out of 11 for 72% success rate. Our target is just 60%. And I had zero errors. I didn't make any errors while I was day trading today. I follow my rules exactly. And then we have this, uh, uh, how do I know if I'm, how can I measure if I'm cutting my loser short and letting my winners run? Well, today, uh, if you, uh, my actual rewards risk ratio was 1.36 to 1, which is below our minimum target of 1.6 to 1. Interesting, but however, with that 72% success rate, and at 1.3 to 1, I was still able to hit a, the 5% minimum target that we have on our model portfolio each day. Incredibly, even though we were, our actual reward risk ratio was low uh, because of this higher success rate. And again, we 60% minimum and uh, 1.6 to 1, we will make money, but the, increasing that success rate helped a lot today, even though I didn't have any real big runners. Well, this is Mark the Meerkat. Hey, if you'd like to join us in the Grok Day Trading tra Chat Room, you can. Uh, just go to groktrade.com. That's right, groktrade.com. And uh, here, here's our, our opening page. Just go to Day Trading Chat Room. And you can sign up for a uh, seven calendar day, five trading day free trial. Join us from 9.30 to about 11.30, 12 o'clock each morning. And that's Eastern Time. And we will actually join us at 9. We'll select from the 7,500 stocks and ETFs down to a few that we're going to really focus on when the market opens. And here you can read about our day trading chat room. You can see my results year to date uh, as of uh, the end of uh, June. Uh, but again, we're there uh, 9 o'clock to 12-ish. And... Uh, uh, and then I, we narrow what we're going to do when the market opens. I call out trades and then I tell you exactly where my stops are and why I'm putting them there as I manage my stairs to clarify. And we're also confirming that and uh, typing that in the chat box uh, as well as doing audible. Uh, so again, if you want to read about it here, you can read about me. Yes, I'm a funny guy. Yes, okay. And uh, you can even take a, a, there is a free webinar on how to win a day trading without paying those real expensive uh, for, uh, for, for training. Just click here. You can watch that free, you know, sign up for the free webinar regarding that. So again, uh, join and that's, you can do a monthly. Uh, but again, first seven days, risk-free trial. If it doesn't work for you, eh, that's okay. Go ahead and leave. And uh, it would be nice having you here. And no problem. And, or you can sign up for the annual one. So this is Mark the Meerkat. Hey, just remember Meerkat trading rule number two. Plan your trade and trade your plan. And then that way... You can cut your losers short and let your winners run. Trade well.